Hey YouTube, it's your girl Coco Lili. I am back today and I have been asked to do a detangling tutorial and all of this hair is definitely uh, not easy to detangle and I have to be really, really careful um, on what I use and how I proceed in detangling. It took a lot of trial and error to get to this point now where I feel like, um, you know, not worried about what's going to happen when I detangle. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to show you what you need to detangle and pre poo your hair my way. First thing you need is oil. Warm it up gently, either on like a double boiler method or the microwave. I did double boiler method today, so that's hence the glass bowl. And I love to use little uh, medicine droppers like this to help me get my hair um, saturated with the oil. It's less messy. <laughs> And it's a little bit easier to apply that way. You know, I can get it where I want it. The conditioner that we're going to use today is a protein-free conditioner. This is not a deep conditioner. It's just a rinse out. And it's by She Sent It. It's their avocado conditioner. Now, I have not put this in my hair yet. I have used it on my kids' hair so far. And it's super slippery. On their hair. You know, we'll see. My hair is a lot longer than theirs is. Let's see how this works. So let's get going. This hair right now is very dirty and it's very tangled. <laughs> I'm so thirsty today. It's hot. Okay. So I've already did a couple of sections before I got on here. So I just kind of like to keep them out of the way. So I'm going to kind of just flip them up and over here. I forgot to mention that I do like to use butterfly clips. Sometimes I use my good old gritty outdoor fan, and sometimes I use a denning brush. But the main thing you need is oil, your fingers, and a slippery conditioner. So, I have not detangled my hair since the Wednesday before last. So we're talking like 10 or 11 days ago. Um, I kind of like to work from the back towards the front. That way I don't have a bunch of hair sort of, you know, like in my way. It's so tangled, I'm having a hard time getting the section out. So I'm not going to try to pull that out right now. I'm just going to go ahead and get to work. So I like to kind of twist it. Just kind of keeps it better contained and out of the way. Take your little butterfly clip if you have one. Bobby pins work too. Just whatever you prefer to use. And just kind of keep your stuff separated so that you can get through your hair. So I fill up my medicine dropper with oil. Okay, and I start on the end and then I just kind of work my way up the hair shaft all the way to the scalp. When I get to the scalp, I make sure to rub it in so that my scalp gets a good dose of the nourishment from the oil. And then I kind of like to pull it through just on the outside, kind of like massaging it in. And if you know your hair, you can kind of tell how tangled it is. Like to me, I can tell that this section is super tangled. So I'm going to put another dropper full of oil on it. I also wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about shedding. My hair sheds a lot. But I don't think that it's excessive to the point where I feel like I need to worry about it. My hair has shed, whether it was relaxed, whether it was heat damaged, whether it was short, whether it was long. My hair just sheds a lot. Um, and if you know your hair, you know, don't expect, if your hair has always shed a lot, I wouldn't expect, you know, that there's going to be some miracle product that's going to make your hair stop shedding. But try to take comfort in the fact that it's normal and healthy. For your hair to shed a good 75 to 100 strands every day. So since I haven't washed my hair for so long, I'm expecting about a thousand hairs <laughs> in this detangling process today. So you see me with my deming brush just because my fingers are not getting through there. I'm just kind of loosening, loosening it up really easy. And you see how I'm holding the hair? I always take my thumb and my pointer finger and I hold it close to the area that I'm working on. I always work from the bottom up 
And since this hair is giving me some problems on this side, it's time for conditioner. And I just pour it straight on there. <clears throat> That'll help me get my hands through. Look at that. This stuff is so slippery. Ooh, I'm getting more of this on Black Friday. <laughs> oh, and it smells really good, too. It's got a really nice fruity scent to it. I can't really describe it. I don't know, maybe Fruit Loops, but sweeter. I don't Fruit Loops are really, really sugary, so I don't know. That I Maybe Skittles is a better way to describe it because it's a bright, fruity scent. I like it. That conditioner made all the difference, but I've still got some stuff going on up here at the roots. And sometimes you might find, like I'm finding right now, that the section that I chose to work on is too big. So, I'm trying to do it so you can see. My lighting is terrible, but I'm moving this over here and getting it out of the way so that I can work on the rest of it. And see how you can just kind of wiggle it down if you need to? Just wiggle it down. And then, yeah. The ends were very well detangled, but up higher on the mid shaft, it needed more work. So, I'm still getting a tangle. Now, when you feel like you're getting a really stubborn spot like this one, I'm trying to show it to you. Okay, the best thing to do is to take your time and just kind of pull it out easy. See that? It slips out. If you try to pull it down, it tightens it. If you pull it up, it'll release the tangle. Nine times out of ten. Don't get me wrong, you might have to get some scissors out every once in a while to get a tangle out. But I think that you'll have an easier time if you try to do it that way. Okay, so always just kind of hold on to the hair. I'm noticing now that I don't always grab it with my pointer finger and my thumb. But, um, you get the drift. Okay. Just wiggle those fingers down and through. And my root area is still got some tangles, so I'm going to put more conditioner right there in that spot. And in a lot of ways, I guess it does add some wetness to your hair to put conditioner on there. So even though technically I'm doing this without water, there is obviously water. I, it's probably the first ingredient on this conditioner. Let me take a look. Mm, yep, purified water is the first ingredient, and then it's got avocado oil, aloe leaf extract, grapeseed oil, vegetable glycerin, BCMS, ethyl alcohol, coconut oil, vitamin B5, propylene glycol, and a couple things I cannot pronounce. They are the preservatives, so <laughs> and some fragrance and coloring. So this is a pretty natural conditioner, and it's. So slippery. It is. It's working really well. This is my first impression of this product. We'll see how my hair feels when I rinse it out and get ready to cleanse. Almost done with this section. And I kind of feel like, you know what, I haven't really gave my hair a lot of attention over the last um, 10 or 11 days. Because a lot of times I'll do my pre-treatment and then I don't do anything else um, after I detangle. Make, I usually end up washing my hair out the next day instead of the same day. And you'll see why in a minute. Because I'm going to top this with a cap. Okay. So that section has now been detangled. And I sometimes, especially when it's been a really long time, I like to make sure that I do remove the shed hair and that I finish up my finger detangling with the Denman brush just sort of as a final step. to make sure that it's really, really thoroughly detangled. Okay, so this section is now done. And again, we're just going to twist it up into two strand twists. This way, you're knowing that the work you just did is going to stay intact. It's not going to tangle back up into itself. And you'll have a much easier time when you're ready to wash your hair. So there it is. One section detangled. It only took forever. <laughs> And I'm used to it. I don't really mind. Um, I would prefer to take my time 
and uh, get through my hair versus, you know, going to a salon and letting somebody rip through it. Okay, so. Let's see what other spot we're going to do next. It's just a you know a thing where you gotta take the time and have patience with your hair. So I've got my next section here, and I'm gonna finish up this one. Okay, I'm gonna finish showing you this this spot, and you'll see um, the final result in my next video. I'll show you when I'm done, and I will show you what I do to wrap it up to let it marinate later. Okay. So let's finish up with this detangled area. Well, let's finish detangling this area on my scalp and in my hair. And again, I'm finding some serious tangles up by the root area. So good old avocado conditioner from She Scented. Pour it on that area. And then you're able to keep going. Because as much as I'm saying have patience, you don't necessarily want to be detangling your hair for, you know, two or three hours. And I have before. <laughs> I really, really have. So I just got a, a tangle and I didn't take my hand out fast enough. I think I just pour a little spot on my hair back too. Need more conditioner. But I really like doing it this way. I feel like my hair is almost in a way getting a deep condition before I even start cleansing. Um, now don't get me wrong, I'm still going to deep condition when I get done washing, but let's say that there was, you know, a really, really busy day or something unexpected happened and I didn't end up having the time and I had already started my washing team. I don't feel bad about, um, if I've done my pre-treatment, I don't feel bad about skipping my deep conditioner, which rarely happens, but you know, I realize that everybody doesn't necessarily have the time that, that I have to, you know, take care of their hair. So if you're in a bit of a rush, you know, you definitely can um, consider this your deep condition. When you get done with this, just go ahead and co-wash and style and go on about your day. Because you are definitely treating your hair, adding softness and manageability by doing a dry pre Okay, so this one has now been detangled and de-strained twisted. Shed hair has been removed. And I'll get back with you guys later to show you all of my hair detangled and de-strained twisted and what happens next. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.